Welcome to the Truth and Reason page. We are a Christian organization, and I believe a Christian has only one mission, and that is the Great Commission. We have been commissioned to make disciples out of all nations, and that is what we are here to do, to introduce you to theology, apologetics, and all the controversial questions of life and involving faith. Kindly subscribe to our pages and follow us on this wonderful journey. God bless you. Worse than magic, yeah. when you think about it, really is. In, in magic, when the magician pulls a rabbit out of the hat, at least you've got the magician, <laughs> right? But on, on atheism, the universe just popped into being uncaused out of absolutely nothing. So if you do not believe in magic, you should resist any kind of attempt to deny the argument by rejecting the first premise, because then you're believing something worse than magic. All right. Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to another video. I'm going to be reacting to the video you just watched, and it's a video by a famous Christian philosopher. Dr. William Link Craig, arguably the GOAT anyway. That's for another day. But he makes a very great point when comparing, when talking about atheism, I believe in a question and answer session. And he says atheism is worse than magic. He said, at least in magic, when the magician pulls a rabbit out of a hat, at least you have a magician bringing something that seemingly does not exist into existence. But on atheism, the earth as complicated as it is, just pops into being out of nowhere. And it's almost unheard of and upset. You see, the truth of the matter is that we treat nothing in that fashion. We don't come to any form of conclusion like this in any other situation except the creation on the earth. And it's upset to think that smart people, you know, of all kinds, people a thousand times smarter than the ordinary person will come to an angry with such a point. You know, there's no way you walk into a house or you see a very, a very beautiful building and you say, oh, this thing came, grew out of the ground or just happened to exist out of nowhere. It, nobody comes to such a conclusion. But for some reason, for some reason, people are tempted to think or would like or prefer to think that the earth popped into existence by no cost. It's an uncaused reality. And... It makes no sense, absolutely no sense. Forgive me, I'm not trying to be arrogant about it, but it's hard to accept. And to, to borrow the words of Dr. Frank Turek, it takes more faith to be an atheist. I don't have enough faith to believe that. I want to quote you a verse from Hebrews 3, verse 4. He says, For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. The, writer, the writers of the scriptures apply a logic we still, we still use today. And is that whenever you find a difficulty in explaining a difficult thing, you reason from a less complex thing which is similar, then we go to the more complex thing. So they analyze and say that in the same way a house is built by someone, it's equally it's trustworthy that something or someone outside of the earth created or built the earth. And that is logical. We don't reason like that for any other thing, that something just pops out into existence. We know for sure, we never walk into a house or see a building and say, this is a very beautiful building. It must have pop, popped up by itself. No, we reason and say that somebody, there must be, there must have been a very good architect who built, who designed this and a great builder who built it. Likewise, the universe is far more complex than any other building, a thousand, a million times more complex than any other thing a human being has made or could have made. Yet, we want to say that it came into existence in of it itself without a creator, just popped into existence. And it makes no sense. As long as there is a creator thing that has a beginning, we are sure to know that there is something or a mind behind it. So it's reasonable to think that there is a creator behind the universe. Therefore, I agree with Dr. Lynn Craig that atheism is worse than magic because at least in magic, you have the magician pulling the rabbit out of the hat. But on atheism, you are forcing me to believe that the rabbit just pops out of the hat in of itself with the hat at the same time without the magician, which is outstandingly outrageous, forgive me to say for saying that, but it's far more difficult and complex to believe than for me to say that there has to be a mind behind this orderly made universe with some more reasonable conclusion to the available evidence. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye-bye.